Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating Happy Mail using the falling leaves from Pretty Pink Posh. Only recently I told in one of the videos I think and I cannot recall because I'm just the worst um, that I actually don't really make autumn themed cards which I don't um, except when I have perhaps a birthday card where there are some leaves in and I want that color combination but that's really really limited I think if I can recall it correctly um, but then I saw this being released from Pretty Pink Posh the following leaves the stamps the dyes the stencil and I just fell in love with it and I had to have it and then I was like okay so recently I said that and now I just bought some products that are really really autumn themed that being said I'm using Concord 9th inks today and the blue that you see here is way too dark. I stamped it out, I thought it was going to be fine. But once it was stamped out, I really really found it too dark. So I went for another blue that you can see here. And I just stamped two images because they fit on this, um, <laughs> this piece of paper, this scrap piece. Um, but then later on for the card, I, th I think I blended another one. However, the inks that I'm using in the end are Stardust, Oceanside, Grapefruit and Sorbet. And I just love this. Um, I'm just inking or ink blending the leaves exactly with the same ink as I stamped them out with. It was something that I saw by some of the design team members I think. And um, it gives this really soft look even when you go for a dark color. I just love it that I don't need the black outline, although I will definitely do a black outline or maybe some heat embossing and then some ink blending, you know, many possibilities, but I truly, truly love this. Then about the color combination that I'm using today, personally I think it's not a really regular color combination or something that you can see often um, and it's not something that I had in my head, just in case you were wondering, um, it's more when I want to do something different than what I always do. Um, for example, this year I really, really love the night skies for Christmas cards. And you can do every card like that. Without a doubt, it will be gorgeous every time again and again. Now, because I'm here for you guys and I'm hoping to inspire you to, to do things, but maybe what I'm doing is not really your style, I'm, I'm always trying to look for a way to to maybe show you something that you wouldn't think of immediately and so this color combination popped up how um, personally when I try to find other color combinations you can be guided by some amazing crafters that's one and then what I often do is go to Pinterest and then click on the bar to search for color combinations or color palettes and then you from time to time get some incredible ideas like this one. So once I ink blended everything and I wasn't going to make everything super smooth because leaves in nature don't have it all smooth like colors. Um, so I just went for it and then I took the matching dies to get everything out. I already played with a bit of layout, you can see it here. It took me way too long to get there so I just cut it out of the video because truly then you would be here for more than half an hour um, it really took a long time um, and then I took a panel cut out with the sweet feline from Mama Elephant and I just love that border so I trimmed a part of that down and then I also trimmed down an A2 size of the same paper today I used Nina because I was just going to do some ink blending so I first am adding an A2 size piece of Nina on top of my car base while well, it's a bit longer and then I will cut off the excess to make sure that it is straight and it measures the size of my car base. Um, this I'm doing because my, um, my car base and Nina and all those things and Transotype don't have the same white color and I just cannot handle having several types of white on my card when it's it's clearly visible that there are different whites and with the outline of the cut out images 
well that's the first thing of course that, that gives some trouble and all of those things so I just added that and then I'm going to add those leaves I'm going to hang them in a bit offset of the card um, just to be able to trim off the excess and have the idea of this card is still going on um, outside of the card itself so you also see me use here the present seal it's amazing um, if you're living in Europe I live in Belgium and I was really searching like a maniac to find it and then um, Julia from Craft Room Adventures told me that she bought it on Amazon so I bought it on Amazon just in case you want to know um, and I truly think it's a lifesaver <laughs> I truly think that as many crafters do uh, but for things like this that is really really handy because you can first play without adhering anything and once you like it you don't get rid of the amazing uh, layout that you figured out so all the things that are now cut off the leftovers you can still be adding them through the card just add some foam tape if you need you also don't necessarily need to um, inblend a new leaf if you don't have enough just try first with the leftovers if you can so I added them to the right side of my card base and now I'm going to add that lovely panel on the left side so therefore I used some foam tape, but first I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with the sentiment. Now at this stage you can do many things. You can add the sentiment here on top of that white, you can do it just with black ink, with colored inks, some heat embossing. But you can also put it on the right side of your panel on the bottom or the top or the middle part. And out of all these options I chose for the right side corner. On the bottom although I I still doubt it at this stage I truly did but then I just I just figured out that I was going to do the right side on the bottom um, because I really like um, vertical cards why because I have done top fold quite a long time because top fold is super elegant personally I it's my favorite but I have a really really um, thick cardstock for my car bases that I get somewhere and I don't know exactly uh, what it is out of my head um, but it's really thick um, with the top fold and everyone opening the card to read and stuff like that from time to time the crease that we make gets really soft and um, the card is sort of going open on its own while it's standing on um, a cupboard or anything like that and I just don't like that so that's why I switched to side fold and then of course once you go horizontal with a side fold you again have a top fold so just to to not have that because when the card is really getting really heavy it happens quickly in my opinion and then when I come to my friends and they keep my cards very long on their cupboards and I'm, I'm truly flattered and I see the card going down on its own and I'm like no so that's why I prefer side fold no I don't prefer it but I think it lasts longer so I do side fold and then um, prefer though I do a, a vertical card wow um, so here I was going for the autumn, I wanted it to match with the card, so I just smeared those four inks that I have on the rest of the card. I used my first more clear embossing ink and then some white embossing powder from Ranger to get these blessings on there. And then I had to decide what I was going to use, but now I have all the options out that were matching with my card. And if I want to, I can make this card three more times and use the other blessings, because of course it fits. These are the same colors. So once there was heat set and I let it dry a bit, left off the excess, I used my itty bitty strips from my favorite things and cut all of these sentiments out. Um, and then it was a bit fiddling. Um, I wanted the autumn to overhang with the blessings, but it's like it fits just in between the longer letters. <laughs> so it was a bit 
searching and then I tested all of them out but I went for my light pink and if I'm not wrong this is grapefruit otherwise it's sorbet <laughs> but I cannot keep the both of them um, separate in my head um, but I went for that and of course the autumn was with the gold uh, embossing powder from Lolfon. I also love the fact that the autumn can be die cut I think it's so so pretty the script is incredible and I always love it when I can have a scripty sentiment cut out a scripty way <laughs> so I added it to the strip which wasn't really handy and it also let go again uh, that aside I adhered it to the rest of the card and then I just made sure to add a bit of thin foam squares underneath those areas where I needed some more help to get it sturdy and, and right on there. So I'm using my T-square ruler to get it straight and then I press it down I saw that well there were some areas where I could use a bit more adhesive and once I added it there um, this card is completely done you can add embellishments if you want glossy accents, stickles, just some lovely sequence if you have um, but I really really liked how it turned out like this um, it's subtle it's fresh in my opinion and it's an autumn themed happy milk card so here you can see me fiddle a bit I use my craft knife to get that thin foam square underneath and then I can still push it a bit if I need to but that's it so I hope that you enjoyed this video and of course that you like the end result. I truly had so much fun with these products from Pretty Pink Posh and I hope you did too. If you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments, I will get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you all and I wish you an incredible day. Bye!